Hello everyone. So what if you want to divide a surface into four spaces and then you want to choose the smallest space from here. So first you want to refer to that curve inside Grasshopper. So right click, set one curve, that's our curve and then if you want to make it a surface you go to boundaries boundary surface and then from the edges of the curve now you have a surface now this surface if we want to divide it into four corners or into four spaces there is a command called iso curve which is that one and here is your uh, surface and the uv will be um, you want to create a point on surface so we say Let's see. You go to parameters, and then from here you choose an MD slider, and that MD slider you connect it here. And as you can see, um, the points are from zero to one in the x and in the y axis. So in order to have that applied on the surface, you click on the surface right click and then reparameterize and basically what will do it will change the from point 0 to point 1 and here 0 to 1 it will reparameterize our surface and now if we move it now you can see the that command is creating two vertical and horizontal lines perpendicular on each other on the surface it's like evaluating uh, the uh, surface into these points now what if you want to divide it there is um, a command called split surface or surface split here so we would like to split this surface into using these curves so these two we want to connect them here one and if you press shift and then you can connect the second one also now we have both surfaces uh, both curves connected now if we see what we have inside the uh, curve we have three one two three four surfaces now if we use a list item we see that we have four surfaces now if we look at them closely now we have the surface number one two three four now what if you want to choose the biggest one or the smallest one only for your work purposes now you need to sort them so in order to sort them you want to sort them by area so the way to do that is to choose a command called area and that area we would like to measure the areas of these surfaces Shift them a little back here. All right. Now we have the areas. Let's check them. So we have 190, 130, 83, and 293, or 95. What if you want to choose always the uh, smallest one? Smallest one. So you go to the, um, you go to the sets, and from sets you use the sort list from A to Z and that sort list you connect the keys and now we check that the first item is the smallest one or the smallest area so from here you go to list item and from that list if we can see now sorry so the list is here and the index is here okay uh, which is the a uh, we should be choosing the values and these values are yeah the values we can get them from here and you connect the values and now if you can see we have four trimmed surfaces and So the values are here and the keys are here, okay. And now from there we have the 
um, list so the list will be that one let's remove that guy here um, so that one goes into the values areas goes to keys so we can always choose the uh, smallest space so now if we check what happened here is we are sorting the values of the surface and we want to choose the smallest space and now we have the always we have the smallest space here and you can always highlight here once the area becomes small it's gonna choose the smallest one and you can always also choose the uh, largest space by flipping the matrix here where we say reverse list yeah you can reverse the list and yeah you can reverse that list and then choose and then now it's gonna choose the largest space all the time um, I hope this uh, helps you in a way when you are using the grasshopper inside Rhino and uh, good luck. So.